The back and forth continues between Kevin Durant and the Warriors. According to Stephen A. Smith, KD was never feeling Warriors coach Steve Kerr. What's going on, Fumble Fam? It's your boy Chris, but you can also find me over on my YouTube channel, CK2K. But make sure you subscribe right here, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video. All right, Kevin Durant has made it pretty clear that the sole reason to him leaving the Bay was the fact that he didn't truly feel welcome to Steph Curry's team. Now, Stephen A. Smith is adding more fuel to the fire, saying that there's a little bit more to it. During ESPN's first take yesterday, Stephen A. said that Kevin Durant and coach Steve Kerr never really gelled in his time with the Warriors, and he simply wasn't feeling Steve Kerr. Here's what Stephen A. Smith had to say. KD was not feeling Steve Kerr at all. At all. And to the point where that's why you saw Bob Myers around him. That's why you see his guy, Rich Kleinman, around him. That's why you saw other players. Now, I have my thoughts on Steve Kerr as a head coach, but that's for a separate video. It's odd to me that KD and Kerr weren't able to, you know, really mesh, but you could also bring up the fact that he also didn't really gel well with OKC coach Billy Donovan, and he was part of the reason why he ended up leaving there to go to Golden State in the whole first place. Last week, KD did an interview with the Wall Street Journal, and the quote that stuck out the most in his whole piece was what he said about why he left the Warriors for the Nets. He said, as time went on, I started to realize I'm just different from the rest of the guys. It's not a bad thing, just my circumstances and how I came up in the league. And on top of that, the media always looked at it like KD and the Warriors. So it's like nobody could have a full acceptance of me there. I don't know what's true or not anymore because let's remember guys, this is Stephen A. Smith we're talking about here. He was the same one gassing up that KD was for sure staying in Golden State and that Kawhi was hands down going to be a Laker or he'd be stupid if you went to the Clippers. So the guy goes off the rails quite a bit, but in the same breath, he did just film an episode of The Boardroom with Kevin Durant a few days ago. So who knows if this was mentioned in any conversation that they had privately. Either way, KD is a net now and thanks to to the same Warriors that he left, he is a bit richer than he initially expected to be with the team. It was known before the free agency period began that KD was going to be a net, but what changed was how he was getting there. The Nets and the Warriors decided to do a sign and trade that included both Kevin Durant and D'Angelo Russell, and because of that sign and trade, KD and Kyrie Irving were able to make close to $8 million more in guaranteed money. ESPN insider Bobby Marks broke it down and explained how the two stars ended up making more money than they would have made with KD simply signing at the dotted line. Mark said this, because cap space was not required to sign Durant, Brooklyn only needed to structure $1 million in unlikely bonuses for Irving to still have room for Jordan and second rounder Nicholas Claxton. In total, Durant and Irving could have opened the door to lose a combined $16 million had the Warriors not stepped in at the last minute. I know, some of y'all probably sitting there like, Huh, what the hell are you saying? Basically, since KD was traded over and took D'Lo's spot, he was part of the initial payroll, so that meant the Nets had extra money to add onto both KD and Kyrie's max deals. Long story short, they got paid. So what do you guys think was the real reason behind KD leaving Golden State? The whole fans not embracing him, or was it the fact that it was Steve Kerr? Let me know your conspiracy theory in the comments below. It's me, your boy Chris, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.